Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video. Today we are going to be making a planet larger than the sun and then colliding it together. So I actually received a comment, this comment on a video, last video which was on making that crazy solar system. So yeah, many thanks to the guy who commented that. But anyways, let's get into this. So let's quickly um, load up the um, solar system. So let's go to the main here. Alright, solar system. And now we want to go all the way to the sun. Uh, let's just quickly delete these asteroids. Wait, oh, that key doesn't work anymore. They remove the key to delete the asteroids. Oh no, no, there we go. Control D gets all the asteroids. So it stops the game lagging. But anyways, how are we are going to do this? So basically, I have this um, planet saved, which I made a long time ago in one of the older Universe sandboxes called Big Rock. So it's basically a rocky planet, which is humongous in size. But as you can see, it's not as large as the sun yet. But in this new update, it is possible so right now it has the mass of 12.7 Jupiters but we can make first of all we make the size because let's put a number 9 in front of this no wait we don't want to do that wait let's get rid of the 2 then put a 9 in so we get that so we get another star but you can make a star back into us or back into a planet so if we put it into Jupiter size one Jupiter it will go back down and stay as a, it comes a rocky planet again so as you can see right here we have a rocky planet which is larger than the Sun <laughs> This is just... Who's ever done this? This is just ridiculous. And can we actually put water on it? Just to say, like, show it is a rocky planet? There we go. Look at that. As you can see, we are adding water on to this planet. There we go. So we've got a rocky Earth-like planet larger than the sun. And it's going to hit the sun. I've never ever tried this. This is crazy. Uh, let's make that green as well. There we go. Wow, that's a lot of green. Wait. Um... I think that looks good, like they've got the dark forests there. So add a little more water on. Okay, anyways, enough of customization. Let's see how big this big rock is from Earth. Yeah, I literally called it Big Rock. I couldn't think of anything to call it by. So let's go to Earth, and I'm assuming we can see this in the daytime very easy. So let's go to um, uh, Brazil here. Let's land here and look in the sky. And we can see the planet just there. That is just ridiculous. Because that isn't a star either. Like, you've got to remember, that's the massive one Jupiter, but it's larger than the sun. <laughs> like, that is not a very dense object, I don't think. Where's that how it works? I don't really know much about density. And also, thanks to the guy who had told me what ATM was. It basically means one atmosphere of Earth. I think I'm saying that right. But anyways, let's play this. So let's go down to about a few milliseconds, and let's hit play, and let's see what happens. So let's put the temperature to minus 200 and... I think it's 15, 259. Oh no, what's colder? Minus, let's just do 9 and 9. There we go. Minus 270 is the coldest. Alright. So, this thing is literally going to collide with the sun. So, let's press that. And now, all the moment you've been waiting for. Enough of me bad and long. Let's click play. So, play. Okay, it will, it will lose mass because obviously an object this large will not be able to hold that much size. It will get smaller. So, yeah, that's not good, but it should hit the sun before it gets smaller than the sun. So, let's speed up time a bit. Is it moving? Yeah, it is moving. Okay. Oh, this is very dangerous. Come on. Oh, okay. Oh. Well. It basically vaporized. I don't know what happened. Aura, I am back. So this time I've gave it um, a little more velocity. So when I hit play, it should go straight into the sun. So let's try this. As you can see right now, it's at a velocity of 244 kilometers a second. That's quite a lot. So if this doesn't work, I think I'm going to do it at light speed. But honestly, it should it shouldn't go small. It should hit the sun this time. So let's put it down to a few minutes again. Hit play. Now it's increased its velocity a lot more. Come on, go faster, please. Come on, hit the sun. Just hit it. Come on. Is it gonna come on? Go, go, go. Come on, it's so close, it's heated up. And what happened? Oh wait, the sun just did something. It just got bigger there. Okay, the sun is double the size now. Wait, I'm pretty sure that's bigger than normal. Wait. <laughs> wait, is it? Yeah it is, the sun got bigger. And it got more luminous. Okay, so it worked. I don't think I can do much better than that, honestly, guys, because that, that object's really, really glitchy when you make it that large. So, yeah, I'm guessing that's all you can do for making a planet larger than the sun. But without further ado, let's see what has going to happen to the solar system. Now that sun's bigger, it's going to affect the planets. Oh, wow, look at the orbits. Wow, all of the planets are being ejected right now. Oh, whoa. Okay, so it looks like the sun has been 
hit so hard, because obviously that object was larger, the sun has been hit so hard, it's actually pushed the sun out of the solar system. So now the solar system has gone crazy, and as you can see, it's pretty much destroyed, because if we just speed up time now, Mercury's the only planet left, and all of the other objects have been ejected. Now the sun is traveling at 50 kilometers a second. So, yeah, we, we, the solar system's destroyed. And all of these objects here, like Sedna and stuff, they are still orbiting the sun, because the way light, like light travel works is, because the Sedna's further away from the sun, if we were on Sedna, the sun would still be up there, like in the main spot, because the distance that light travels, is the sun, or the light the sun had emitted at Sedna would still be traveling here, even though it's already been hit. Because I'll show you a quick example of that anyway in a minute, but if we um, quickly just go back here, as we can see, yeah, with the solar system's gone, that's it. Like, it's over. Like, yeah, that's all that's going to happen. Then Mercury will just orbit the sun for eternity. But anyways, let me just go back to my point here. So, we're on normal system. If we delete the sun, you'll see that Mercury will go first, then Venus, then Earth, then Mars, then Vesta, Ceres. Jupiter's still in the same place. See, they're still orbiting the sun, even though it's not there, just because of the way light works. So now Jupiter will get ejected. Saturn any time now. Yeah, Saturn's about to go. See, Uranus and Neptune, all of these objects, they are still orbiting, like, the center, even though there's nothing there. But now Uranus is going off course, so is Neptune, and then if we just hit play, they will all just completely go out. See, Sedna's going in a straight line now. See, the object furthest away from the sun will, like, escape first, or escape last. See, as you can see, Mercury's the one escaping the fastest, because it was the first one to escape the sun's pull. But, as you can see here, the further you are from the, the, further you are from the center of the solar system where the sun is, the, the slower you'll leave the solar system, because these planets are already long gone. But anyways, enough of that. I think I'll give it one more try at making the big planet hit the sun. And if nothing else happens, then, yeah, I guess that's that. But anyways, I'll see you once I've set up. Alright, last try. I've literally put them so they're almost touching now. But anyways, let's hit play. Come on. Uh, <laughs> well, it made the sun larger again, but I think the sun tore it apart there. But anyways. Damn, this ain't going well. I, I, this is literally so hard to do since the game is trying to stop it, but it kind of can't because like the game's obviously not complete yet. But in real life, this would never happen. You'd never have a planet this large. Anyways, we'll give it one more try. So let's do it. So let's put it in launch mode. Let's put it really close to the sun, like no, not inside the sun. There. Okay, so it's pretty much going to be touching the sun. So wait, there's one in the there's one inside the sun. <laughs> wait, let's get rid of that one. Where is it? Um, that one there. Let's go in, uh, let's select it, delete that. Alright, now we want to make this one as big as the sun again, so let's quickly um, change the numbers here. So there we go, and then make it one massive Jupiter like that. So now it's bigger than the sun and it's touching the sun. So as soon as I hit play, it's going to disappear. But anyways, let's hit play. And it turned into a star, and it's like hit the sun and now it's... Oh, wow. Whoa, this is cool. What the heck is going on? Well, we've definitely found some sort of weird glitch here. They've gone inside each other. Whoa, look at this. This is cool. Well, I think we found a glitch, but I think that's a good way to end the episode off. Have we just got an endless cycle of glitches here? What the heck? Wait, is the sun actually larger? Okay, the sun is larger, but it's also lost mass. It's larger than it was earlier. Let's get compare it to what the sun used to be. So that's what the sun used to be right here. So this other star, the big rock as well, how large is that? Whoa, where did it get all of the mass from to do that? So that's pretty big and then the normal or the normal sun is that large. So, and also it's lost temperature as well. That's interesting actually. Anyway, let's just continue playing. Is anything gonna happen here? It is getting larger and, uh, is it getting, yeah, it's getting larger and it's getting more mass back. So let's speed up time a lot more here and let's hit play again. And boom, supernova it looks like. And yeah, it looks like they threw each other over here because the supernova started here, as you can see. But the solar system is now very dead. So there you go, I guess. That's what happens if you uh, make a planet larger than the sun. Are these planets going to escape? Probably doesn't look like it since they're completely surrounded by supernova. But anyways, as we watch this um, supernova... Um, oh, whoops. I accidentally deleted it. I was meant to delete the little asteroids here, but... Anyways, as we watch the solar system just break apart now, hopefully you all enjoyed this video, and if you liked it, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, I don't really ask for it much, but 
Yeah, I guess. I'm not really interested about subs as much. Anyway, I like the comments. Yeah, leave a comment down below. What do you think about this? And also, you got any ideas for another video? Please leave it down below. I'd like to see what you've got because literally this comment about this video literally came out. Uh, let's have a look. Four, six hours ago. So, yeah. So, if, yeah, if I really, really like your idea, I will pick it pretty quickly and make a video on it. So, there you go, I guess. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed, like I said. Have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.